dear students today i am going to give the demonstration of estimation of cao that is calcium oxide in the given cement solution this experiment can be performed in three different steps the first step is preparation of disodium salt of edta as a standard solution the second step is estimation that is titration against standard solution and the third step is calibration so before going to give the demonstration of the first step that is the preparation of disodium salt of edta i would like to give some of the important hints of cement solution cement solution contains various oxides of metals such as calcium oxide magnesium oxide silicon dioxide iron oxide etc but majorly it contains calcium oxide that percentage we have to estimate by doing this complex geometric titration against the disodium salt of edta here disodium salt of edta is preferred as a standard solution because it is a very good complexing agent which makes a complex with the metal ions present in the cement solution that can be easily estimated that is why disodium salt of edta is preferred as a standard solution that we have to prepare the first for this we need some of the chemicals glassware etc for this experiment first this is the cement solution we require 25 ml of the cement solution this is the diethyl amine and glycerol this is four normal sodium hydroxide this is the indicator called pattern radar indicator this is a conical flask the eta salt 250 ml standard flask conical flask 250 ml ammonia we need and the burette this is a 25 ml burette so these are the some chemicals and glassware we require to do this experiment first let us prepare the disodium salt of edta here for this we have to weigh approximately 2.5 g of disodium salt of edta and we have to transfer this into a well cleaned 250 ml standard flask along with the polythene funnel now i am transferring this and this is dissolved by adding 5 cm cube of the ammonia ammonia is added here to increase the rate of solubility this is the ammonia so i am adding approximately half a test tube of ammonia which enhances the rate of solubility of this edta salt disodium edta salt now add little quantity of uh, distilled water here this is a polythene bottle in which distilled water is taken so this is how we have to add the salt through the polythene funnel we have to wash all the sides of this polythene funnel and uh, little more quantity of distilled water is added to the standard flask so after this uh, let us continuously mix the solution by putting the stopper we have to mix the solution until the edta salt completely dissolves so now carefully we have to mix the solution and after few minutes we have to check out whether the salt is dissolved or not yes no more salt all the edta salt gets completely dissolved in the presence of ammonia and water now let us dilute this solution up to this 250 ml mark using the same distilled water carefully or we can also take the help of the burette in which drop by drop of the water is added so that we can accurately prepare 250 ml otherwise if the mark exceeds 250 ml the molarity may vary if the molarity changes the our estimation also may get some random error to avoid this we have to carefully very carefully add the distilled water yes this is the 250 ml mark now to get a homogeneous concentration uniform concentration let us do upside down 3 to 4 times like this we will get a uniform concentration once we prepare the solution 
we have to rinse the burette with the same with the EDTA solution and then we have to transfer this EDTA solution to a burette with the help of this funnel. Now I am rinsing this burette with a small quantity of the EDTA solution. This is called the rinsing. After rinsing the burette, I have to transfer this disodium EDTA salt into the burette from the standard solution along with this funnel. For the colorless solution, we have to concentrate on the lower viscous. Since it's a colorless, I'm concentrating on the lower viscous of this burette reading. Yes, this is the first part. As soon as you complete this, we have to fix it into the burette stand and then immediately we have to calculate the molarity. Molarity can be calculated by using this formula. This is the formula to calculate the molarity. Molarity of EDTA equals weight of disodium salt taken divided by molecular weight of disodium salt that is 372 multiplied by 4 it gives some molarity of EDTA. So after this let us go to the second part of the experiment which is a titration part. We have to titrate the cement solution, given cement solution against the standard solution of this EDTA. For this first thing is we have to take this uh, well clean 250 ml conical flask into this or to keep it out 25 ml of the given cement solution. This is the cement solution with the help of a pipette head I am preparing this. I am transferring this. Yes. Now I transfer this cement solution from beaker to the conical flask. We should not blow this uh, pipette. Just if you make the pipette to touch the tip of this pipette into the bottom of the conical flask, everything will come out. Now into this we have to add the 5 cm cube of mixture of glycerol and diethylamine. This is the mixture of di glycerol and diethylamine. Glycerol will give a sharp end point. Diethylamine will give the required pH that is 12 to 14. So for this experiment, the pH of, pH of 12 to 14 is required to maintain that the diethylamine helps. So approximately 5 cm cube we have to add here. This is 5 cm cube of the mixture of diethylamine and glycerol it is followed by the addition of sodium hydroxide for normal sodium hydroxide 10 cm we have to add so this sodium hydroxide will help to precipitate the magnesium oxide which is present along with the calcium oxide in the cement solution just to remove the magnesium oxide we have to add this if we add this uh, NaOH NaOH combines with magnesium oxide to give a precipitate of magnesium hydroxide which is a soluble precipitate. Now into this we have to add 3 to 4 drops of the pattern reader indicator. Here we do not use the EBT in the ethylene diamond erythrum lactate indicator because at the pH of 12 to 14 EBT indicator will not give a sharp end point that is why pattern reader indicator is added here which gives the wine red color. This is the wine red color. We have to titrate this wine red color against this EDTA until the color changes from this color to a stable blue. Let us hold the conical flask in the right hand and the burette in the left hand using this finger so that it is more convenient to add and stop the burette solution. So now I am titrating this. We have to observe the changes in the color of the solution. Without caring for the burette reading, we have to observe very carefully the changes in the color of the solution. 
this has to change to the stable blue color that is the end point continuously we have to mix this solution Yes, this is what the stable blue color. So it required 9.4 ml, 9.4 ml to get the end point. So this is the tablet column where we are going to write all the observation. This is the tablet column containing the trial one, trial two, trial three, burette, EDTA in the burette. Initial burette reading is that is already given as 0, 0.0. The final burette reading, the first trial. So here you have to write it as 9.4. I am writing the 9.4 here. Here it is a 9.4. Again we have to subtract this value from the initial value. It is 9.4 only. Then in the same way we have to do two more trials, second and third, tri third trial. Any one of the trial is taken for the calculation. So this is the simple calculation. This is the calculation. Molarity of EDTI it is 0 0.0104. Then uh, weight of cement calcium oxide in the 25 ml of cement solution is M1 multiplied by 0 0.05608 gram of calcium oxide. And then the percentage of calcium oxide into 50 ml. Weight of the calcium oxide into 4 into 10 divided by weight of cement that is 0.1 gram. It gives approximately 73.15 gram of calcium oxide. So this is how we have to estimate the amount of calcium oxide in the cement solution. Thank you.